Appearing before the committee probing the management of statutory assets and state enterprises, the UBC board was found with a pile of queries vulnerable to gross mismanagement. Madam Chairperson, you remember that this is land uh, that has been in court for so many years. And, uh, and the ruling, I the judgment of... Uh, I can't know about it because I've asked for a court judgment and Madam I'm not Cha able to provide can I explain? it. Can I explain, Madam Chair? This is a matter that has been resolved by Supreme Court, right away from High Court, Supreme Court. The issue now is who owns the land, and who owns the land is UBC according to the court ruling. The MPs say management gaps and injustices in government run enterprises are a manifestation of a connivance and fraud. Alba Mohanga should come as a witness to this committee, and I think very immediately. When, when I read the statements of the accounting officer and the explanation given, the contest in the court was between Haba and UBC, not Mohanga. These are issues of uh, truthfulness, integrity, and morality. I do not have to, uh, to prepare myself to say something that I dealt in. If the case was a fraud, Madame Muhanga should be able to tell that, that, well, this person sold to her the land, but perhaps it was a fraud. She Committee chaired by the Bukedia woman MP Anita Monk was on sport after finding their own Bulaha County Member of Parliament, Margaret Muhanga, involved in this fraudulent purchase of the UBC land and illegally holding the title despite a Supreme Court ruling on the matter that directed for the return of the land title. Be effected immediately by returning the title to UBC and we are going to give you days as in when we should have a feedback. And then if the judgment still says that UBC pays back have a group of company, I am saying we must go by the judgment. When the name of Honorable Mrs. Margaret Muhanga appeared on the land transaction document, she was tasked to declare her interest and given leave from the meeting until she was later invited as a witness to the fraudulent sale of the UBC land. Drama ensued minutes after members proposed to have Honorable Margaret Muhanga subjected to an oath, a matter she first objected before taking the oath and then cross-examined. I swear by the Almighty God that the evidence I shall give touching the matter before this committee shall be the truth, the whole truth. Help me God. Honorable Nathan Nandala Mafabi would later cross-examine her on behalf of the committee seeking to find out what transpired in the transaction that led to such suspicious deal. I said already, yes, I do. Uh, did you buy or you got it as a gift? Yes, I did buy. Whom did you buy it from? Auctioneers. To your court process. Who, why were the auctioneers involved? Because you bought it through auctioneers, it means somebody has lost a case and you are buying. Who was that that the auctioneers were representing? Actually, if you read um, the court ruling, the court of appeal, mm. Haba went to court with UBC mm -hmm. and they were ordered to pay an amount of money. So through a court process, they sold it. So, so that means UBC is the one who signed the land title, the, the transfer form. Who signed the transfer form? You have said the court. But according to the title, it says UBC to Margaret Mohange. Is it, did UBC sign or you are saying it is court which signed? told you that's why I brought my lawyer. He was handling all those matters. So can you please allow him to speak? The former managing director of the Uganda Broadcasting Corporation, Paul Chika, divulged to the committee on the illegal acquisition of land by government officials, putting the board on sport. How did the Honorable Mohangi and Honorable Kurut get land? I found that they had already acquired land 
and uh, I really didn't want to comment about this uh, because one uh, Honorable Mary was a uh, appointed minister at that time also to supervise me. I had a serious conflict uh, in matters regarding to that issue and I don't actually remember how uh, exactly he acquired, she acquired the land. This would later lead to a heated exchange between the current board chair, Simon Kaheru, and Honorable Margaret Mohanga lawyer, Joseph Chaze. The claim was that UPC had failed to pay within the mandated period. That was the contention. Now, since UPC had failed to pay, the only recourse for those who were upgraded, is it true that it had failed to pay within the 60 days? According to the record, it is true. Madam Chair, no, because that refund was deemed unnecessary by court later on. And just to clarify... Which the, court? The Supreme Court. No, the judgment in the Supreme Court is saying the land should be returned. It does not talk about the money. It's silent. No, ma'am. Hey, um, Madam Chair, just... it is here. In the result, the appeal is dismissed and orders of the Court of Appeal are upheld. The respondent is entitled to, uh, is not entitled to cost due to collusion by its representatives with their parents in this case. The land in question is a 23.1 acre land located in Bugorobi that was sold to both Haber Group, Deo Limited, and Margaret Mohanga at a cost of 11.2 billion in a single day. There is, however, a critical question on the exact land sold and who the buyers paid. The UBC Assets Register, among other documents presented to the committee by the UBC Board, was the basis for this thorough interaction. Aaron Stabarka, WBS Television, Parliament.